Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I'm John the Builder, and welcome to my world. Hi, I'm John the Builder, and today we're going to talk about exterior trim around the windows. Now, this particular owner had windows put in a while ago. Nice windows, good windows, uh, Marvin windows, but they didn't go for the trim around the outside, so the shingles were just put right up to the edge of the windows. This is the wood that we're using for the side of the frames. It's five quarter, which means inch and a quarter, but finished it's inch and an eighth. It's an inch and an eighth wide, and this is about a six inch piece wide. We use a wider piece because we cut it down to size. You can see there's two different pieces of wood here, and then it's pre-primed on the back, on the sides, on the front. This is wood is made of little blocks called finger jointed, and that's not just to save money on trees, but it does, it's very green, to reuse all the pieces that are left over. If you take a piece of wood and you cut it out of a tree and it has a grain all the way down, it wants to move on that grain, it wants to twist on that grain, it wants to cup on that grain. Everybody's seen a warped piece of wood, and a warped piece of wood is because it's cut from one piece out of the tree. The reason that it stays very straight is because the grains are all different, all in different directions, and they're small blocks. They're eight or this one here is about six inches long. There's another one. There's another one here. And they're all joined by finger joining and glue. And what that does is it's a very, very strong, and it uses up material that normally would go into the garbage. Also, it's coated with primer on all sides, right? And when we make a cut, whether it's the side or the bottom, we always touch it up with primer before it's installed. This way, this piece of wood is sealed all the way around when it's installed on the house. And you don't find that on much houses because they're putting together as quickly as possible, even in the 1800s, and they just then paint them later. But if you paint the wood first, whether it's wood shingles, whether it's wood trim, whether it's molding, whatever it is, if you paint it on all sides first and put it on, the paint will last three times longer than it would if you didn't. When the house heats up and moisture comes out, if this isn't primed on the back, that moisture will go right through the wood, and then when it hits the paint, which is a vapor barrier, it'll push it right off. You know, everybody's seen houses that are peeling like crazy. Now well, that's because the wood on the back isn't painted. You wouldn't have that peeling like crazy if the wood was put up primed on all sides on the original construction. If you have any questions for me, you can go to AskJohnTheBuilder.com, email me, and if it's a good question, maybe we'll do a segment on it.